new ankle. I am going to do a review on The Edge of Nothing, The Lex Chronicles Book 1 by Crystal Crawford. So, at the beginning you get a map of Aramith where it takes place, and in the prologue you are I don't know. So it's a prologue of a writer, and then the then chapter one starts in twenty seventeen. So happens like about a year ago, in like an alternate land, alternate world, and we are introduced to our main character Lex, and. He wakes up in a place he doesn't know, and he has no memory of his life or what just happened. So, a man is there when he wakes up, so like about, and then we meet about six men, farmers, who like, has him like tied up and he's like, I have no idea what I did and what's happening and all this. And he's able to escape into a forest where he meets our next character, Amelia, and he's a little uncertain of her, and but she is willing to help him. So she says she's from Alta and saying that she will take him there. Stuff happens in the forest and they end up meeting Akiris and he tells them yeah he's a little uncertain of, of them because he's like never seen them before as <laughs> like at that moment and he's like, oh, I got like five sisters, they could likely help out. But we later find that through him, Lex finds out that he has a brother who, uh, Akiris says, but he died, and you like look just like him. And like, apparently Marcus was a soldier, like he died in battle, and Akiris was told nothing about him having a family because, like, apparently Marcus was, like, kind of, like, disowned or whatever. So, and through, like, them getting, like, cleaned up and everything, Lex gets a note uh, stating that he shouldn't trust Amelia, she isn't who she says she is, and so he, that's on, added on to it, and they meet different, like, there's humans and, like, there's these magical creatures, and apparently she's the daughter of power from one of these Uh, like demonic monsters, Aik, and so, like they're just trying to like, they have to like. They've got like the farmers coming for Lex because they believe he's Marcus for what Marcus has done, and you got these different species, like magical creatures coming after him as well, and Amelia and Akiris and his family are, like, brought in this as well, and, like, they venture and eventually go into, like, meet up, like, go to a castle, and they meet Latera. Uh, they meet her a little, they meet her a little before, but 
they end up at her castle and the fighting kind of meets them there and stuff happens and the ending of the book kind of sets up for the second book so I'm not gonna say too much of the ending it's just stuff happens when they're there at the castle and he finds out certain things about both Amelia and Akiris so you got that kind of dynamic going so those relationships along with the fighting and finding out who he was and these kind of different worlds as well so you got all that going on within the first book but it isn't too jammed packed and it will lead into the second book so I am not I I couldn't get fully invested in the story some people likely could but for me it's not the type of book that I would want really to continue reading some people likely would want to continue at, continue on and see what happens in the second book but yeah it does have its moments but I'm not as fully invested in it as say um, Shadowhunters or some people would be invested in say like Harry Potter or like the Hunger Games or whatever but there's there's potential there there's potential for the book so yeah so if you are liking the time travel fantasy human and magical creatures living together sort of <laughs> this book has it for you so the edge of nothing the lex chronicles book one by crystal crawford happy readings